Hey folks, Greg Koch here. I'm out at Fishman HQ. We're having some fun today with these Loudbox amplifiers. Currently, I'm playing through this, the Loudbox Performer. I have one of these bad boys in my own domicile that I use for playing around the house and taking out to venues and engaging in spirited, amplified acoustic activity. Now, this is the big daddy of the Loudbox family. It's 180 watts, which is enough to cause trouble. There are three speakers in this amplifier. There's an eight inch woofer, there's a five inch mid-range speaker and a one inch tweeter. And together, in concert, they deliver a full range, delightful bi -amped tone. Can you dig it? Uh, let's talk about a few of the different features on this amplifier that I like to utilize. First of all, what's cool about the amplifiers in the Loudbox family, especially the bigger ones like the Performer, is there's two channels, and you have the ability to put a quarter inch cable into it or an XLR, so you can plug a microphone into the other channel. So you can put your acoustic instrument or whatever you want to do through one channel, and a vocal mic through the other channel. It can be like an all-in-one PA system so that you're self-enclosed, if you will in one fine little, tidy little 180 watt package, which is very, very cool. There's also Bluetooth capability, and this is cool for pairing up your device if you wanna play along with tracks, do a little guitar yoke or whatever you wanna do, or if you wanna play some ancillary tracks, or just some tracks, period, between your sets, so there's, a little, so there's no dead air, which is always a good thing. So you can definitely do that with the Bluetooth feature. There is the ability to go direct out of the back of the amp. Now, there's great effects on board the amp, which I'll get into in a second. You can either have a mixed DI out, which means that you can hear, of course, all the different effects that are going on on the amp, or you can just do a direct out of the back of the amp and have that dry signal be manipulated by your front of the house professional sound engineer individual. Can you dig it? They can take it and use it. He or she, that is. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the effects, doggone it. First of all, how I usually set up the amps, pretty simple. I just usually put the EQ all at 12 o'clock, bass, middle, treble. The um, gain stage, I put this usually around 10 o'clock-ish, depending on the instrument, depending on what I'm using. And then I usually take the volume and put that up about 12 o'clock. And that gives me enough uh, leeway to kind of manipulate the volume in the guitar to kind of get the sweet spot. <laughs> Now, there is, uh, there are, excuse me, a few different effects on this amp. There's an effects group A. There are four different effects on there. I usually like just a little bit of reverb, and that's what I have on right now, as you can. Just hear a few other different sounds. I can control the amount of the effect with this control right here. Let's do the other reverb just so we can hear that. There is also a nice delay. Now I can control the amount of delay and also the time of the delay. Get a little spacey with it. Now this, there's also a more of kind of a, a shorter delay that you can do as well, more of a slap back type of a thing if you want to do that. back to the just a nice little reverb now I can engage the second bank of effects and those are good clean fun as well if I press this button right here I have my choices of a couple of different chorus sounds
nice. Here's the second chorus song. Let's see what we got here. swimmy little flanger that we can put on here as well, which is kind of fun. fun. Fun to mess around with, fun to come up with different textures. Again, if you're trying to texturalize with a band situation, or maybe you're just doing a solo gig, it's nice to have a few different effects on board, and all of those effects are available on both channels, which is very, very cool. So when using this amplifier, there's a bunch of different applica applications. As I said earlier, <clears throat> you can be a self-enclosed PA system with this. Just bring this thing, plug your vocals in one channel, instrument in the other, plug multiple instruments into it. A lot of people who are in touring acts like to use it as an onstage monitor. There's a little kickback, um, kickstand, if you will, on the back of the amp that you can put so you can angle it back so you can hear it better. Uh, there's a friend of mine, actually my buddy Jeff Pivar, who plays with David Crosby. He actually uses one of these and puts it up on a table and uses it as his, his vocal monitor, uh, in addition to playing his acoustic instrument through it. So it's very, very helpful in that regard. I like plugging into a loud box amp when I'm at home practicing. <laughs> Uh, as, as someone who plays electric guitar more than acoustic, I would say, my fingers are more used to the smaller gauge strings on a electric guitar. So when I'm playing acoustic, I sometimes like to plug in just so I don't have to play so hard and it's not as, I can play a little bit more dynamically, especially if I'm in a drier room where there's not a lot of reflective surfaces or there's other noise going on like children or spouses. It's nice just to plug in so I can, can be a little bit more dynamic and not have to dig in so hard and hurt my fingers. A lot of times I break nails or whatever the case may be. Poor me! I'm just saying it's funner to be plugged in because you can get a little bit more um, dynamic control and it's fun to mess around with the effects, if we're honest. It's just good, clean fun. So I like to use this, as I said, at home or in a situation where I'm playing out live. Uh, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll go out of the back. I like to use the mixed control out of the back so, I'm can, so I can add my effects. I'll go out of the back of that and I'll actually go into a... Um, the, the PA and get a little bit of that going as well and hear them both swimming together. It's a very, very nice sound. So uh, I think we've covered it all. This is pretty much, as, a, as I said, a great little amp for doing a bunch of different stuff in terms of both for a professional or messing around the house or whatever the case may be. I dig it. This is the Loudbox Performer, the big daddy, if you will, of the Loudbox family. At 180 watts, that's plenty to get in trouble with, if you know what I'm saying. It's only 30 pounds as well, so it's not like it's a big deal to grab it and go and start engaging in spirited song craft somewhere. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Greg Koch. We're here at Fishman HQ out here in Massachusetts. Thanks for tuning in. Check out them Loudbox amps. You'll dig them. Adios.